New video out of Ohio is reigniting the debate over police use of force. It shows the chase and shooting of Jalen Walker one week ago today. Amy Kiley reports on the video, what police say happened, and how Walker's family is responding. We are done dying! Advocates say they hope the police killing of Jalen Walker prompts nationwide debate over police use of force. Police say these traffic cameras show Walker fleeing a traffic stop and a muzzle flash coming from his vehicle. 21 shots fired. They say they found a shell casing at that spot along the road. You hear the gunshot, and then that changes the whole nature of the traffic stop. This video shows when the chase became a foot race. An armed suspect wearing a ski mask is far from routine. Officers say they tried to subdue Walker with tasers, but failed. Stop moving! This next video is graphic. It shows officers shooting and killing Walker. There is no pausing. There is literally nothing in his hands. According to police, a medical examiner's report says Walker's body has dozens of gunshot wounds. They're going to have to articulate what was the perception of threat and why was it necessary to fire however many rounds each officer fired. Police later found a gun inside Walker's vehicle, not on his body. The reasonable officer's perception at the time of the encounter is what's going to be important, not a looking back. Justice for Jalen looks like this. Accountability and change in terms of the procedures and policies in place. I'm Amy Kiley reporting.